So it's not an ornament, it's not something, you know, background music of the liturgy, it's actually the Mass being sung. So it's an integral part of the liturgy. Uh, it is also the music which best expresses the prayer of the, of the church. So it's a very prayerful kind of music, and it succeeds as no other music does to bring us to a certain spiritual level of a penetration into the liturgy of the church. There's, there's nothing that quite can do it in that same way. Hello everyone and welcome to the Vortex where lies and falsehoods are trapped and exposed. I'm Michael Voris. If you hang around the vestibule of the Church of Nice these days, you hear a whole lot of talk about saving the earth. Man-made emissions, carbon footprints, global warming, uh, not really here in Michigan, climate change, weather apocalypse, save the earth! Hey Church of Nice, how about a little talk? Just a little, even a syllable about saving souls. Saving the earth is noble and all that, but it doesn't get you to heaven. And all this nonsense about man-made climate change, plug in, would you? Man-made climate change is poor science and even worse theology. This anthropocentric climate change talk is a lot of smoke and mirrors meant to advance a phony science to achieve an evil agenda. That so many in the church are so gullible regarding it is alarming. A couple of years ago, we produced an investigative piece on not really the science or even the politics of the science, but the real agenda behind all this garbage. And what do you think we found? Hmm, let's see, could it have to do with population control? It should immediately set off warning bells with faithful Catholics when the world's rich and powerful, those with social engineering plans, are the ones yammering about this nonstop and funding all the little and not so little groups who are pushing governments to take action. Those same rich and powerful have one goal in mind, at least in the short term, end poverty by ending the poor. They want to abort and contracept them, the poor, out of existence and crush them underfoot. The climate change crowd are nothing more than Margaret Sanger and her birth control movement reincarnated. Faithful Catholics need to think long and hard about not only the science, but the forces behind this stuff and what they are trying to accomplish. So enough from us here today then. So just please click on the link and watch the original presentation, Global Warming Unmasked. God love you. I'm Michael Voris.